So you're the chief strategist. I just heard from your chief technician who said the market's going to hit a new low. Are you guys on the same page or no? Uh, yeah. I mean, Mark and I talk constantly. We probably talked three times yesterday, and I heard his interview. I don't disagree that a lot of these groups are in existing downtrends, but um, most importantly, I think second half is still shaping up to be very strong. And I think there's a lot of catalysts in place. I think you guys discussed it for why stocks could reverse. And in fact, even yesterday, he talked about how if he saw near term weakness, he would actually be buying that because that is really what he might think is the sort of near the final lows uh, in place. And I think today's jobs report's a great example that as much as the headline looked like a really strong jobs number, I think the underlying details really support the idea that disinflation and the right parts of the economy are weakening. And that really means the Fed may not have to be as hawkish as the market's expecting. Even so, though, they're still going to be aggressive. Now, they may not have to go as far into 2023 as the market initially thought it might. It's still going to be aggressive in the near term. Now, I'll give you credit. You have endured a lot of market body blows in the first half of the year, arguing that the second half was going to be good after a quote unquote treacherous first half, which it, which it obviously was. But is your second half case two rose colored glasses looking through what is still going to be a choppy environment? Earnings are likely to, to be lower than than we think, or at least that's the risk. And the Fed is going to be aggressive. Um, Scott, yes. Uh I think there is risk to the E component to earnings, but I think what's far more important to equity prices and risk appetite is really the trajectory of inflation. Um, just, you know, the, the real massacre happened on June 10th when the May CPI report came out. Since then, as many of you guys have pointed out, commodity prices have rolled hard. Real estate prices have rolled hard. Rents are cooling. Um, even on the market side, the number of Fed hikes has dropped sharply. In fact, now, the market believes the Fed peak is now March 2023 from late May. And in fact, if you look at inflation forecasts using swaps markets, inflation markets now see almost under 2% inflation monthly from August all the way through March. I mean, we're going to be looking at CPI prints potentially below 2% annualized for six months. I just don't see how that means the Fed has to be keeping their foot on the accelerator.